Next tonight, an ABC News investigation, 700,000 cars reported stolen in America every year, most sold for parts. But now thieves are targeting something even more valuable. ABC's Gio Benitez shows us how your car could be stolen and you wouldn't even know it. Mike Chella tried to do something thousands of Americans do every day, trade in his old car. But that's where things get strange. The dealership tells him he won't get full value for his GMC Yukon because of accidents in its Carfax report. That's news to Mike. He says, well, you know, your car comes up and it's showing me that it's got four accidents in it. I looked at him, he said, what are you, nuts? He says, well, your car shows up in Wisconsin and Illinois. Wisconsin? But Mike lives in Massachusetts. What's going on? Carfax and the National Insurance Crime Bureau start digging. Senior Special Agent Buzz Brzezinski suspects the vehicle's identification number on Mike's car, the VIN, has been cloned. We deal with uh, about $12 million a year in cloned vehicles, and the loss for each person is roughly $30,000. Thieves stole the number from Mike's car, then put it on a different car to mask the theft. VIN cloning is a clever scheme to bring in big bucks for thieves because they can sell a stolen car without a trace. How do they do it? Well, all they need to do is find the VIN number on any car and then just copy it down. Misty, who doesn't want us to use her last name, says this stolen Yukon ended up in her hands when she unknowingly bought it from a dealership in Wisconsin, also a victim in cases like these. It's just crazy that something like this happens in a small town. In most states, people like Misty lose thousands of dollars. After the police take your vehicle, it's your problem. You lost your car, you lost your money. Lucky for Misty, Wisconsin law makes the dealer who sold her the car pay her back. As for the crooks behind that theft, they're still on the run. Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York.